Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, today's video is important if you haven't seen my analysis. Uh, uh, you can see it, look back to YouTube and uh, you can see that I was able to forecast the very important crash in the stock market. We were able to uh, forecast the crash in cryptocurrency. When Bitcoin was trading around $45,000, $50,000, I forecasted that you were going further down. More recently, when it was trading around $19,000, I provided an analysis and you look and look at it, how prices have acted upon that. Crude oil was trading right at around 120-ish when I said that it's going to go down. And we performed all of this analysis using Elliott Wave Analysis, a combination of traditional technical, and, uh, technical analysis and WD GAN analysis. Uh, I try to use Elliott Wave Analysis, WD GAN Analysis, and some cycle analysis. Part of that analysis is not uh, presented to you guys uh, just because it's my personal research and I do, want, do not want to share. The Elliott Wave side of that research is definitely shared and I try to present my analysis of the market. In today's uh, video, we are going to do that exactly. Uh, so if you're worried about the timeline, timeline is not given uh, separately. Timeline, I'll be following all these charts starting from NASDAQ 100 to the right all the way we'll look at Dojon index 30 then we we'll look at S&P 500 uh, and, uh, UK 100 which is FTSE 100 uh, once again I was able to forecast the crash right from the top so you can look back refer to the, my analysis videos in FTSE for FTSE as well Tesla as well we were successfully able to forecast the crash in Tesla we'll discuss British pound and New Zealand dollar and Japanese yen uh, Canadian dollar and we'll also look at US dollar index itself. I cannot see the euro but I will be bringing in the euro chart and we'll definitely look at the euro chart. Um, we'll definitely look at the precious metals starting from platinum, gold and silver. I'll present the clear picture of uh, what pattern I'm looking at it and where the price is expected to go. Then we we'll look at crude oil at the end we'll look at cryptocurrency that will involve Ethereum and Bitcoin. So let's start our analysis today. First of all in my previous week analysis, I told you guys that you're expecting a bullish move in uh, in the, um, the stock markets, and that's exactly what we have seen. We have seen wave four pulling back up, and I gave you guys an indication that this wave would be important because uh, after that we are expecting just one wave further down, and that will be completing our uh, five wave structure on a smaller time frame and on a larger time frame as well. We have blue wave one, this one, and wave two, wave three wave 4 and wave 5. Now wave 5 is uh, a little more because we are about, uh, about to complete the fifth wave structure right over here. So wave 4 went already uh, quite a bit deep and is, has already given us a clue about that. This channel was drawn before this uh, price movement. So I'm expecting that this channel is going to hold the prices. So we can clearly see a zigzag kind of behavior right from on this behavior, uh, this top. I'm expecting that we won't be able to go further down. Uh, further up I mean uh, from here I'm expecting that we should turn uh, downwards for next few days and our target once again I'll mention to you guys our first target is 10,700 right over here and we can look on the left for clues of where exactly uh, I think 10,700 is reasonable and giving an indication because wave 4 has given us already an indication alright wave 4 on a smaller time frame has gone deeper as compared to uh, what we are seeing in wave 2 normally wave 4s are not that deep so this has given us a clue already uh, that prices are kind of beginning to get tired on the bearish side all right so this is what the analysis is for next few days I'm expecting price to hit somewhere around 10,700 ish and then we'll uh, be completing a fifth wave structure after the five wave structure is complete this will be wave 1 this one uh, this will be wave 1 and then we will start wave 2. So we are to expect some um, bullish price action in the stock market. Uh, what's that uh, terminology that we use for uh, for shorts? Sure, yeah, short squeeze is expected to happen after next week. So next week and maybe next week and a half I would say we are to expect prices going down and after that short squeeze is expected. Uh, let's have a look on a larger time frame. And I think when the prices go up, that will decide how farther we go down, all right? If we can actually go very deep in that area, uh, we'll have to wait for some time for the prices to go further down. So once again, we are expecting for the prices to drop in uh, stock indexes. This is one, this one is NASDAQ 100. I'm expecting to bottom to be forming around 10,700. 
Dow Jones is showing uh, exactly a similar pattern kind of we have completed uh, the wave one right over here wave two wave three and wave four is complete wave five is yet not complete once again the smaller time frame the analysis is exactly the same we have wave one and wave two we have wave three and wave four and we're expecting for the price to give us one more sharply priced downward our target for uh, Dow Jones is 29,000, which is 28,920-ish. That's our target for next week and a half. And I'm expecting that after that, we shall be seeing prices going upward. Short squeeze is expected after that. S&P 500, exactly the same pattern, so we don't need to discuss. Uh, here you're looking at it. Uh, we are, uh, here's the labeling. So we are considering this as a five-wave structure, considering that wave four is going on in this one. So uh, FTSE is, and one, once again, this 5 wave structure is once complete, we will be completing wave 1 of a higher degree, and then that will be followed by after wave 2. It could be a double zigzag, a flat correction, or a double 3 structure. Once prices start going up, we'll look at the behavior and we'll be able to tell. But that will be an important point for if you guys are bearish or bullish, this is good news. Now FTSE is, uh, is totally different. The stunning thing is, thanks for uh, the, the comment section, I uh, really appreciate the comment. Um, so, mm, we were expecting that, the when we were expecting that Monday will price go up, that's exactly what we've seen. We have seen a nice price structure forming. I believe that now, our wave four, this green one is complete, right over here. Okay. This is our cycle analysis that I did on uh, FTSE. Once again, bottom is to be expected around December 2023. I'm expecting at least two years worth of bearish uh, moment markets in the in the world indices. All right. Some are uh, not all the markets are showing exactly the same patterns. So do not simply just copy paste it. You have to have some Elliott wave analysis experience so you can actually label your do your own labeling. Uh, it's much like cryptocurrency. Every cryptocurrency moves through a different uh, labeling, but as a whole, they kind of move together. That's exactly the, uh, the situation with the stock market. As a whole, they tend to move together, but from time to time, you'll see that uh, one price is, one is going up and the other is coming down. So here in FTSE, once again, we have a four hour time frame. Uh, I believe that we have completed this green wave one and two, and this wave three is complete right now, and wave four is complete right now. We are easily staying in the wave four of a previous five year structure, so that's pretty good one. I'm expecting this one to be bearish and I'm expecting that FTSE will be more bearish as compared to uh, the as compared to the other indices. Reason is because uh, we have already spent quite a bit of accumulation or actually distribution time in this area. So this is going to be wave one and two. So we are going to be expecting for the prices to come down sharply. My price target for FTSE is 6,300. I will look into the time factor of uh, of the market and see if we can actually find a better option in in this one but right now uh, there is one possible alternate living that i'm looking at it that all of this is a five wave structure this is wave one this green one and this possibly is two we are expecting a strong drop as three and correction four and then further one further down five but i'll be posting my analysis as we go along all right, don't worry about it. Once again, on a on a four hourly time frame, we are expecting FTSE to fall sharply down right from over here. I'm expecting a sharp price movement from FTSE over here. And our potential target for FTSE in about next week uh, or two weeks is uh, 6,300-ish 6, uh, 6, area. This is uh, what is expected once price is reached kind of in this area. Uh, we are to expect a deeper move like just like we have seen in um, in Dow Jones we have to expect a deeper fourth wave all right so in this case we would have a largest wave wave would be wave one that will be followed with wave, wave three and then that will be followed with wave five in terms of the uh, strength of the bearish side is concerned but right now for simplicity case you can consider that I'm expecting for the prices to come downward. If, if you try to time the wave 4, it's going to be very, very ugly uh, situation. I think for now, we can do the change the labeling a little bit right over here too. We can do this. Looks a little better. 
Give me a moment. Hopefully this one helps, okay? Once again, I'll keep revising it and I'll, I'll look at the pr price behavior and then we'll discuss it once again. But for starting from Monday, I'm bearish on FTSE. I'm bearish on all these three indices as well. Tesla has given us some um, good news. And the good news for uh, Tesla bulls is that we have seen that Tesla did not drop uh, as much as you were expecting as we have seen in FTSE or in the other indices, meaning that um, stocks much like Tesla are close to the completion of 5F structure. We are completed with 1 and 2 is complete. I'm expecting that this could possibly turn into really a massive wave. All right. This could possibly turn into really massive wave because we can easily consider it as an A, B, C and A, B and C structure right over here. So we can easily consider this as in that, in that case when prices come down the other possibility is that we could see an overlapping meaning this whole fifth wave structure could possibly an ending diagonal too early to say right now i'm considering uh, that our downward target for uh, tesla is going to be around 540 ish i'm going to be bearish for next week and a half on tesla very less price movement downward is expected um, i'm not expecting for tesla to go over right over here but once again, you can look at Tesla. Tesla is clo coming close to the completion of five wave structure. We have this wave one and wave two, wave three and wave four and wave five. Within wave five wave structure, we have already completed one, two, three, four. And right now we are going through the fifth wave. And the fifth wave is looking a little more, as you guys can see from, it's taking, it's gonna take its time and it's gonna be quite messier. So it's giving us also indication that Tesla is also getting closer to make a U-turn, all right? So that's what I'm expecting in Tesla. Once in next week and a half is, is gone, then we're expecting to see price going upward. All right, British pound, we are expecting for the British pound to go up. Instead, what we have seen in on a daily time frame is move sideways behavior. Last, this is what we have seen in the last five days. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. So we can look at Canadian dollar and we can get some sense from over here. We have one, two, three, four, and five. The outlook was bearish on the chart given and the opposite outlook was given on British pound. So I'm, my point here is that we are very close to making a price movement show to the upside. Let's have a look on an overly time frame. Maybe uh, we can actually look at some, some pattern. Okay, all right. Okay, no, 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 I'm looking at something. Okay, I was... I was having trouble early on looking at and now I think it is making sense. Uh, it's one of the very common uh, uh, pattern, uh, very common not in regard as told by, by politicians. It's not in a book. It's my own personal observation and we are going to look this pattern, exactly pattern somewhere else as well. All right. So this pattern is very important if you are an politician. Uh, this is one of the uh, things that comes with experience. You know it, we can clearly see an impulsive wave and we can clearly see a zigzag pattern or double zigzag pattern. We have single zigzag correction, another zigzag. So this is wave one and wave two. And then we have wave one and a very deep wave two. And what we are seeing right over here is a correction right along at the top. This behavior when we have prices going up and coming deeper and then we have an impulsive wave and a correction very close to the top. This is very, very uh, beneficial trading pattern. And this is almost guaranteeing that we are going to sharply go up. All right. This is once again, this pattern, this is not something available in, in books. It's on my own personal observation and it's behavior of the markets uh, of the um, mass psychology. You're going to see the same exactly person, uh, pattern in one of the other. And uh, I think I've seen it and I will, I'll, I'll try it if I can find it today and I'll show you guys. All right. Once again, an impulsive wave. A corrective wave, which is a double, double zigzag, a smaller impulsive, a corrective, another smaller impulsive, a corrective close to the top. And then we are expecting for a sharper move upside. All right. We are not going to go into the nitty gritty details of one and two and one, two. We are going simple with wave one 
and wave two and we are expecting for a five five wave structure all right and then once we have seen a quite a uh, price movement we will look at smaller wave ones and twos right now i'm bullish on um, british pound and i was looking at earlier this pattern i couldn't see now i can see it properly and the reason is because it's not very easily identifiable we can look at this pattern as a double zigzag and I want to see one thing I want to see if this line is gets tested right over here all right so this line it gets tested right over here this is pretty intel pretty good thing and uh, these trend lines the later ones are important all right the later trend lines are important we are going to use these later trend lines uh, you can consider this as a double flat correction or double three structure or any other structure you want to force it to honestly all right but right now simply an impulsive a corrective a smaller degree impulsive a smaller degree compact corrective and even smaller degree impulsive and even smaller degree uh, corrective but it has taken quite a bit of time right around the top giving us indication prices are to go upward in British pound pretty nice trading setup all right I told you guys that I have seen this pattern somewhere else let's see if we can actually are not going beyond the all right New Zealand dollar is showing a similar pattern uh, but it has shown an even better pattern okay an ideal form of it an impulsive move and a corrective move for this whole price movement and then we have an impulsive move and a very very deep move once again an impulsive move and a very deep move and then we have this we have gone up and we have created a structure around the top we have gone up and right now we are sitting at the top of previous area structure area this is definitely asking definitely asking for something uh, sharply up we can either directly go from over here in this regard and be bullish on New Zealand dollar or you can either we can actually come down and then go uh, straight from over here uh, both things are possible so either we can go from over here or we can actually go from over here both things are possible I'm bullish on New Zealand dollar uh, once again let me show you guys if you guys haven't seen my uh, long-term analysis on this is what I'm seeing on, on British pound that we have completed a 5 f structure a correction is complete and right now we are very close uh, to the historical lows and we have seen an impulsive and corrective and impulsive corrective all right and uh, this is something also you guys want to be useful uh, no it's not here available here I've seen it in another chart I want to show you guys some some of the property of the trend lines but it's not working right over here so I'll see if I can another find another place and show you guys what I wanted to show let me have a look on a four hourly time frame mm. yeah I'm trying to find that trend line uh, property uh, characteristic that uh, uh, but it's not visible here as well let's have a look at Japanese gen and my previous analysis about Japanese gen let's go back to the weekly time frame analysis so we can actually see what exactly is going on I told you guys that we are trading uh, close to the historical tops uh, this chart is going back to the 1993 ish area so this top and these tops are very very important and we were able to draw these lines way back somewhere it was trading somewhere over here we went into the historical chart and told you guys that we are looking at a, a, a historical high of this particular move and we are very close to making a u-turn right from on the top right over here that is still going on on a daily time frame we had seen some previous sharply move downward and I told you guys that this trend line is very very important for the prices to drop below only start at the moment when prices start actually falling below the trend line I'll start labeling that move otherwise we are right looking at the top so I'm looking for the Japanese yen I know it has been uh, quite a bit and we are waiting for this thing to happen uh, but that is still going on and I'm not going to give the analysis we are we're going to wait for the uh, price to break the this area so generic analysis is that we are waiting for the price to crash through the line and then we are uh, bearish on the chart meaning that uh, Japanese yen will be becoming stronger against US dollar this analysis was given on Canadian dollar um, that the chart is bearish making 
Canadian dollar being stronger against US dollar because once again both of these charts are upside down the Japanese yen and Canadian dollar uh, so this analysis was giving an we have we can see that we have seen an impulsive corrective and impulsive we'll zoom in on our hourly time frame to see better uh, trading opportunities so this one is simple we can clearly see that we have uh, kind of a structural uh, an impulsive move and a corrective move right over here at the top and then we are looking at a impulsive move already on a 15 minute chart <coughs> sorry for that so I think that we are to see some price movement we are gonna wait for uh, let me delete this line I'm expecting for a clear five wave structure. We have already seen a wave one and a wave two. So I'm expecting that this is going to be wave one and then we have to see some sort of correction and then come down and then wave three and then correction another wave four would be complete and wave five. So I'm expecting this to be an expanded uh, expanded wave. Uh, I'm expecting an extended wave, not expanded, an extended wave. I'm expecting this to be an extended third wave. So we have completed wave one right over here and wave two and with this one is expected to be an extended ideally I would be actually uh, waiting for this to pull back to give us a pull back when that pull back happen I will be joining the bearish side on the chart and I'm expecting for this to go further down so it's up to you you want to join over here or you want to wait for the pull back that's your trading decision uh, the analysis right now on the uh, Canadian dollar that is going to be get stronger against US dollar US dollar itself is uh, showing some pretty interesting stuff and the property that I wanted to show you guys uh, is this one right over here too is that a lot of time when you'll see that even just before the peak has happened uh, you will see this property that we can actually draw the trend line encompassing the previous fifth wave the five wave structure and I've seen this so many times that's why I'm mentioning it's not just one time thing uh, I have done a lot of um, uh, historical research uh, research on the historical data and I've seen this happening quite a many times right over here too so uh, this is uh, one of the tool probably you want to put in your toolbox or if you don't want that's your choice this is giving me an indication that uh, basically uh, the uh, uh, what we call is that support becomes a resistance it does become uh, here we can see that the support becomes a resistance only that we have created a new high as well all right but that resistance is not on the horizontal level is rather that resistance is on the uh, diagonal level this is one of the GAN properties that you can say GAN study properties so uh, traditionally you want do, don't want to see a new high extreme being created uh, that is the this is the case I think that we have seen something similar in a different chart as well I'll see if I can find it together today I've seen in US dollar and one more chart so this is giving me an indication that we have most probably completed the fifth wave structure that actually started way beyond low and this is my historic, uh, analysis on a US dollar I'm considering this whole price movement as wave A and wave B and wave C this started back in 2018 I'm expecting US dollar to be crashing through uh, for next couple of years at least so this is my my analysis or long-term analysis on US dollar let's dive in and on our early time frame to see if we can find an analysis Okay, you guys are not gonna like it. What I'm gonna tell you guys over here. So, what I would say is, embrace for impact. So I'm considering this as a smaller impulsive wave, a correction, another impulsive wave and a correction right over here or over here I'm considering that we have seen a correction and over here in this region and I'm considering this as a W this as an X and this as an Y being truncated from the top right over here all right this has given me that truncation has given me a trend line that I can use temporarily once again it's not it's not pretty 
but it is uh, something that I can use right over here. I can also draw another trend line from the top. Uh, I can use both tops. So this one top, right, let's see how this one works. Okay, and let's see how the other one works. Again, once again, I'm trying to find the, uh, the points that are close to the, all right. So it looks like we can see that, that we have the one that we have drawn from the top is working better than this one right over here too, because we have seen a third point confirming that. And then we have seen that prices kind of is going along with this and that means that we are expecting for a sharper move downward all right so how are we going to look at this one we can uh, definitely uh, is something that we can definitely d discuss and have a discussion about it the point here is that we are considering an impulsive corrective and an impulsive and corrective either over here or over here because this one whole price movement does not look like a an impulsive move it's kind of a zigzag or double zigzag pattern and that's why I'm considering that we have seen a truncation right over here too. We have an even smaller degree, uh, an impulsive and a corrective, and then I'm expecting that this measure uh, is going to bring the prices further down. So once again, I'm, I've already given you guys an indication that uh, I'm expecting US dollar to be cracking uh, through right over here too. I'm not expecting that this is going to be very important right over here too. So I'm going to delete that trend line. We already have three points on it. We can leave it. Let's, let's leave it actually. All right. And then we can see that this trend line is also important, the one that is encompassing the correction, the dotted trend line. So I'm seeing, considering this as an impulsive and a corrective on two levels. And then we are expecting for the US dollar to be crashing through this. So this is once again very important. We are seeing a lot of hesitation or accumulation distribution right around the lows. So this is also giving us an indication that something sharply has to happen downwards. Now platinum, uh, once I had a, a comments from um, request that what I'm looking at as a platinum. Let's have a look on platinum on an hourly time frame. So this is what my analysis about platinum is. I'm considering this whole price movement and we were expecting for platinum to go further up but the whole week stayed bearish on, on platinum. We weren't able to cross the area, important area. The support area was given last week and I'm expecting that this would actually carry on. Instead, we have not carried on but the analysis is still the same. I'm still considering this as an A, B, and C structure, a correction, and an A, B, C, and an A, B, and C structure. So I'm still bullish on platinum. Nothing has changed in, the, in that regard. Uh, you want to be confirmed uh, uh, regarding the analysis. You can definitely wait for the break of 9.54. And once again, on a weekly time frame, you can actually see what I'm looking for. I'm considering this whole price movement as an, a one-wave, uh, five-wave structure. This is wave one of a higher degree, and then we have wave two, of the same degree and I'm expecting that wave 2 is now complete. Once again we are looking at a double zigzag pattern. Double zigzag is one of the most common uh, found pattern, correction pattern uh, to be found in the markets. And we are also seeing that the resistance and support, uh, resistance study is also giving us indication that we are close to seeing the bottom. So I'm actually bullish on um, platinum, nothing has changed in that regard. Hourly time, uh, uh, the reason is because platinum is a lot uh, the the volume probably is less and there's a lot of missing points a lot of uh, my data for that uh, platinum is not really accurate but I can give you on a uh, daily time frame that we are bullish on platinum a lot of people are probably right now waiting for uh, my analysis on gold uh, we were expecting and I was really passionate about uh, gold uh, and then you we were expecting we had two uh, discussion with a couple of uh, uh, I mean respected uh, viewers and we were considering this as, uh, they, well, they were considering this as an impulsive, a uh, corrective, and then you were expecting that this is uh, going to be further uh, downward. However, you can see from the top that this is not a price movement. I gave an analysis in the mid of the week that we are seeing something which is not impulsive, and that's exactly uh, we can say right now. Uh, reason is because you can look at it, we have seen a corrective structure. Once again, this is not impulsive, followed by some price movement, once again, which is not decisive, and we have seen a lot of price um, movement on a smaller time frame here. So what I'm expecting, I told you guys that do not think, consider this as a possible low and I'll, I was expecting this to be used and once again I'll keep on using it. Let's first of all have a look on a 4 hourly time frame. Uh, give you guys some uh, idea of what I'm looking at. Hourly time frame. If you guys are new, so definitely we are looking for this whole price movement to be wave 3 and this price movement to be wave 4. Within wave 4, I told you guys that right now, a uh, lot, of, lot, of, lot of people are going to like it, but we are considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and 2 and wave 3 and wave 4 and we are considering this wave 5 to be truncated and we have seen prices, uh, that prices were showing some sort of 
behavior uh, which actually focused toward uh, some sort of truncated fifth wave. What has actually followed that we are seeing accumulation on even smaller time frame. I thought the accumulation pattern was done right over here too and we have seen prices and we should actually go forward. But right now we are seeing accumulation on a smaller time frame and I think that we are done uh, close to the accumulation. If you are looking at uh, what I am looking at the pattern, I am considering at a very ugly pattern. Alright, if you can come find with a, uh, with a better view, I would love to have it. Right now I am considering this price movement as something like this. Give me a moment. Let's have a look. What happened? What happened? Can you guys see it now, right now? So I'm considering this whole price movement as a very ugly looking diverging ending diagonal. And that will make it this one as a wave A and wave B and wave C. If you guys do not like it, we have not created a new low right over here. We can easily consider it as a double zigzag pattern or a triple zigzag pattern. The pattern is really messy right over here too. And that's why I'm telling you guys that we can turn it into anything if you want and we can have a <laughs> third world war based on, uh, you know, we can have a little hearted discussion about that too. So uh, uh, enough with that. Um, let's get back to the what I'm looking at right now. I'm expecting that we are to see bullish price movement in gold uh, at least starting from next week, Monday. All right. I think we have got some clue on the early time frame as well. Exactly, you're looking right as well. So I'm considering this whole price movement as an impulsive move, followed by a corrective move, and then we have to go up for right over here too. Okay? So once again, if you guys, um, this is uh, something that I'm considering. You don't have to consider it. If you want to wait for the uh, the break of the this top, that's uh, perfectly fine. And I think this is a much professional choice. Uh, right now, I'm already bullish on gold, honestly. I already taken my positions on gold. I am bullish on gold already, starting right from the bottom right over here too. I was not expecting this to happen, but the prices have happened. The good thing is this is not impulsive movement. So I'm considering this as either impulsive and corrective, and impulsive and corrective, or I'm considering this as an impulsive and this whole one is corrected, correcting this whole price movement. Both are fine with me. I'm expecting the prices to go up in bullish. Now this is giving us an indication, important one, because we are seeing uh, just a turn to be found in uh, in uh, US dollar. We're expecting US dollar to become crashing. I'm expecting that the safe haven uh, status that is being given by investors is to be changed to US dollar from US dollar to gold and silver, platinum and cryptocurrency. All right. So because we are already seeing uh, almost everybody is now talking about the uh, the depression being the next the coming depression. All right. And a lot of people are looking at it. Uh, a lot of hedge funds are already going crazy. They have lost 50% of their um, capital. So things are looking really thin if you can be serious about it. And I think gold and silver and platinum are going to perform really good. And so is going to be cryptocurrency as well. We are going to discuss cryptocurrency in a bit. All right. Let's not discuss the <laughs> inside of this fifth wave. Okay. I don't. I think that we have uh, created a, a bottom right now in silver once again and then what we can do is we can wait for definitely we need to wait for our silver to cross this trend line okay let's not say that we have created a bottom right over here so let's wait for the break of this trend line that will be confirmation that we have created the bottom right over here okay and then we are to bullish uh, uh, be bullish on silver this is the chart I'm looking at I'm considering this as an impulsive five fifth wave structure starting from this bottom and you're considering this as wave two ending you're very very close to the wave uh, ending of wave two and I'm bullish on silver gold and platinum all right this is pretty interesting right now uh, <laughs> okay this is a little embarrassing too uh, but once again it's markets we uh, I fork forecasted the that this pattern we were quickly able to see the pattern 
and my analysis was that we have seen completed the correction and we are going down I did not like the property of this wave and then I gave an indication that we should actually push uh, pull out and I'm expecting something then wave A wave B and wave C deeper uh, the reason is because the, the way prices started to unfold uh, because of expecting a similar behavior right we have seen over here that behavior although we have seen a sharply priced down over here but the wave structure is not not exactly the same the strength is a little less than I expected so that's why I gave an analysis on that regard and we're getting there right off so we have to revise the labeling in crude oil right now I'm looking at this one if you guys are interested in labeling of uh, crude oil this is my labeling of crude oil right now so I'm considering this as the wave 1 is complete wave 2 is complete wave 3 we have already seen the completion wave 4 we are going to discuss just give me a moment and then I'm expecting that we are to see a deeper price movement in wave 5 and I'm seeing a clearly a clear subdivisible 5 wave structure in wave 5 right over here so that will bring the prices uh, somewhere over here we will be able to cross this area and the prices the way prices are acting are is pretty nice this whole drop once again we were able to forecast the drop at least right from the top in this area and then in this area and this part we would def I definitely missed this one right over here too but you can go back to the analysis section on my YouTube and then you can see definitely that we have given this analysis I'm definitely looking for uh, crude oil to come down all the way out over here in it at 85 an ounce in next two to three weeks I'm saying the way things are looking at it let's have a look at our hourly time frame uh, okay so here is the point uh, this is uh, not exactly something that is coming into my head straight away I had to spend a bit of time on this labeling the one that I'm going to show you guys right over here so I think that is where it's better uh, to wait for a confirmation on this uh, that we have act actually seen this pattern I would not advise to trade this pattern till this pattern is complete when you see the pattern is complete that will be a very good indication that you can say actually put the labels rightly and then trade on the bearish side okay so here is my go on the pattern once again that I had to spend some time I'm considering this as an impulsive wave and this is a corrective wave and this is an ending diagonal that actually started right from over here we are seeing wave 1 and wave 2 we are seeing wave 3 and I'm expecting that we have to see something like this in this area and then we are to see in this area now a lot of time there is a possibility that we can actually see a stronger fifth wave than expected all right we can I've already measured this one as compared to this one so wave 3 is already a bit larger than wave 1 that makes means uh, that wave 5 can actually extend um, as compared to the normal size the normal size if you can look at it we can definitely look that approximately of the same size uh, wave 3 is just a teeny tiny bit larger so we can consider traditionally you can definitely use this tool once we have seen a bottom then you can definitely use this tool uh, for an approximation of the top but that tool is not a guarantee that we cannot because in some cases I've seen in, hist in historical price action in some cases wave 5 is actually sharper in that regard the uh, support that we are seeing in this here it becomes very very important I'm not saying that we are going to see a clear break of this area so this is uh, in regard just for the when prices happen you can actually uh, correctly label it okay let me see if I can find another price uh, okay keep in mind th uh, this trend line as well okay this 10 line is very good one the one that actually started from 3 4 right over here too it's a good one trend line we already broken that trend line that actually starting from over here so there's no point discussing that uh, let me use this one I want to I want to bring the different uh, points of force so you can actually give some oh that's not good all right I didn't see that earlier I did not see that earlier ok 
okay we have to look at this in case the price comes down and falls back below uh, 102 right over here too if the price comes below 102 in that case we're looking for a sharper move downward in that case we are not looking for an ending diagonal we look for an alternate correction uh, in that case we can say consider it as a W an X and a Y all right so this whole price movement would become an X in that case because right now we can see that we have drawn this the trading uh, the trend line from the top and we have seen a reflection occurring at, the, at that area and is it's a good I do not like take these things lightly when this happens okay so the strength stays still same the analysis stays the same now we have two counts uh, we're expecting for the price to come down and go upward uh, be at least in this area all right So this is the first thing that we are looking for. We are expecting for the price to come down and then go up in here uh, and maybe just pass this one just a bit right over here creating a new top beyond this one and then turn downward. And if the price comes downward and falls below this area which is 102.75 in that case that would be indicating that we have seen a top right over here and then our focus would turn downward toward the 5F structure. All right. Don't get worried about it. We have looking at a smaller price level when we were looking for a larger. Uh, when we look, we are looking at small price when we look as compared to the the price being expected downward. So I'm um, right now considering this price movement that when price is whenever that thing has over, we are to look something like this in trending is somewhere over here. All right. So in when you when you take that in consideration, my whole point is try to use this as a setup for the next bearish side. We are definitely seeing a new low in crude oil, and try to use this in that regard. If you try to focus uh, too much on the correction, it's never a good idea. All right, there is nothing right now we can actually get a confirmation from. I'm gonna spend some time. I'm gonna look at historical data and see if I can find some matching patterns as well. But for now, this is the analysis that we have for crude oil. I'm bearish on crude oil. This structure is incomplete. We are not sure exactly about this structure. Therefore, we have two counts for this one. Either we are considering this as an A, this as a B, and we have one, and two, three, and four, and five. An alternate count is that we have created a top. In that regard, we should wait for the prices to drop below 102.75. That will be confirmation that we have seen a top over here. In that regard, we can clearly go bearish, and our outlook for uh, crude oil is since bearish we can look for the prices to drop towards 85 dollars per barrel 86 dollars <coughs> so before we can discuss ethereum i would like to b bring the chart of bitcoin once again i think it was trading somewhere over here i had a forecast from the top as well i told you guys that we were expecting somewhere here in this region that we are expecting prices to be bearish this was around fifty thousand dollar and that's exactly what we have seen right over here too i think that we have already seen the bottom if you are interested on a, a chart right over here i'm considering this as a five wave structure some of the labeling has gone missing i don't know i was playing with the software so i'm considering this as a b and c i'm expecting that we are to see uh, we are very close to the bottom i think we have already completed the bottom that's my analysis is and we are to go upside that's my analysis on cryptocurrency you are to see a bullish price movement uh, and this is once again is completely different uh, as compared to what the um, mass media is now telling you guys so let's have a look on our hourly time frame when we see uh, this jump right over here too and then you are some, somewhere around over here i think we were some over here or over here I told you guys that we were looking for a bullish price movement and that's what exactly we have followed right now. I'm expecting that we can com com clearly see a 5F structure from over here, this one. This is a clear 5F structure and I'm expecting that this structure is complete error here too. So I'm expecting next couple of days to be strongly price movement upward, right over. And we are seeing some sort of behavior in other altcoins as well. 
they are already showing some signs of very sharp price behavior. I was expecting for it, this one to uh, to be quite strongly. It does not have happened, but right now uh, we are still bullish on cryptocurrency as a whole. So I'm considering this whole price movement as a wave one and a wave two to be completed, and we are to go bullish upward. We are seeing a lot of ones and twos. Uh, that's what it is. Let's go have a look on a 15-minute chart. Uh, you are exactly seeing what I'm seeing right now: impulsive, corrective, impulsive, and corrective, and we are right at the uh, close to the top right over here so i'm expecting that we are going to see uh, some strong bullish price action in the next two th three days in cryptocurrency there is a possibility that we can actually jump strongly or quickly to the uh, 30,000 area or 29,000 area all right a little too far a little bit of stretch right now but i'm bullish on cryptocurrency i'm bullish on uh, bitcoin let's have a look on ethereum we have seen at ethereum ethereum is kind of showing more uh, bullish as compared to Bitcoin because right now Bitcoin hasn't passed the previous top that we have seen while ethereum and some other altcoins have already saw uh, gone through that top right over here so we can consider clearly consider this as a smaller wave one and two a uh, three and four and a five if structure is complete we can easily divide this and label that structure starting from this bottom and from this top we have completed a five if structure and this is a corrective movement and I'm expecting that we are to go further up in ethereum we are going to see some good price movement in the next couple of days. There is quite a possibility that we can actually see something explosive. There is a high possibility that we are going to see something explosive in Ethereum, in other altcoins and in brick cryptocurrency, uh, in Bitcoin as well. So I am expecting there is the possibility that we can actually, all of a sudden in the next few days we can see something. If it does not happen, it does not happen. Uh, but this is what I am thinking that at least this price movement, slowly price movement going upward is very, very bullish for uh, cryptocurrency wish you good luck with your trading if you like my content please press thumbs up i read all the comments and um, either if you are going if you don't like my like if you are criticizing the the labeling i welcome that i really welcome that i appreciate that that there are a second pair of eyes there are a lot of second pairs of eyes that are looking at the analysis in a critical way that's a very good thing to do and i i'm always looking forward to it and uh, thanks for all the positive comments i love the comment section we have seen good uh, price movement uh, and let's see how things are turning up in the next week. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.